Hi there, welcome to www.highschoolmaths.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at pie charts. So, we've got a couple of questions here that look at how you can use pie charts to calculate information based on some question in a context. Okay, so we've got the first question looking at people's favourite type of music. We've got 400 people were asked what their favourite type of music was. The pie chart shows what they picked. Calculate how many people picked each genre. Okay, so we're given all the kind of key information we need. The, the full pie chart represents 400 people, and we're going to have to split those 400 people into each category to find out how many people actually picked each category. So let's start off with uh, rap. Oh. Okay, so rap, if we're looking at we've got a right angle, which is 90 degrees, so the fraction of the pie chart would be 90 degrees out of 360. Okay, so that's their fraction of the number of people who picked Wrap. So the number of people was 400, so we're looking for that fraction of 400, so multiply, and that should give you 100, okay, 100 people. Uh, 90 over 360 is just a quarter that simplifies down to, so a quarter of 400 is 100. Let's look at the other ones. So we've got rock, and for rock we've got 72 out of 360 for our fraction. And again, we're multiplying by 400 because that's the fraction of the whole pie chart. 400 represents the whole pie chart. And if you type that into your calculator, and again, you could simplify that down to a fifth, and that would give you a fifth of 400, which is 80 people. Okay. Uh, classical next. So the classical is 54 degrees. So 54 degrees out of 360. And again, that will simplify down a little part, um, but we'll just take that into the calculator this time. We've got to multiply it by the 400, and that gives you 60. Okay. And finally, we've got pop. So pop's the biggest section, but it's not actually given us the angle for that. So to calculate that angle, we're going to do 360 degrees for the full pie chart minus all the other angles, so minus the 54, minus the 90, and minus the 72. And that gives you 144 degrees for that section there. So our fraction would be 144 degrees out of 360 degrees times the 400. And if you get if you type into calculator, that gives you your answer is 160 people. Okay, uh, if you add all these totals up, they do add to give you 400. So the full pie chart, the, the, all the numbers you get should add up to the 400, the total number of people who took part in the survey. Okay, so let's have a look at another example. This one is, again, working along a very similar idea, but this time it's a, in a survey, 980 people chose mint. So what it's saying this time is that 980 doesn't represent the full pie chart. 980 just represents one section of the pie chart. And how can we scale that down and back up to find out what each of the other sections, how many people picked at each of the other sections. That's what we're going to look at here. Um, so if we've got 980 people choosing Mint, then what we want to do is we want to scale that down. So we get 980, we're going to divide that by 140 because that's the that's the angle that re is represented by Mint in the pie chart. So if we do 980 divided by 140, what that gives us is... Basically, what, what, what does one degree of the pie chart represent? Okay, so 980 divided by 140, and that would tell us that one degree of the pie chart represents seven people. Okay, so there's lots of different, lots of different ways you can go about this. I would probably just stick to one method. Um, so for let's say we stick with strawberry. We want to find out Okay, how many people chose strawberry? Well, strawberry represents 90 degrees or a quarter of the pie chart. Okay, and it's not a quarter of 980. Okay, so we're going to take the 980, divide it by the 140 to give us one degree, and then multiply by 90 to give us the amount, number of people who chose strawberry. So 980 divided by 140 times 90. And that gives us 630. So 630 people chose strawberry. And we'll do the exact same kind of calculation. So we're always scaling down that initial value, scaling it down to one degree, then scaling it back up. So it's 980 divided by 140, 
which gives us the one degree, but for vanilla, we're multiplying by 80, not 70. Uh, so not 90. Not 90. Uh, so that gives us 560. And the, 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 what we've got, strawberry, we've done vanilla, we've got chocolate to go. Okay, so chocolate would be the same idea, 980, we're dividing it by 140, and we're multiplying by 50. Okay, so that gives us 350 people. Okay, so altogether we had 980 people choosing mint, 630 people choosing strawberry, 560 choosing vanilla, and 350 choosing chocolate. And it's a slightly different approach to how you can use information in pie charts. And there's lots of different ways you can use the information you're given in pie charts. And there's also different ways it can be presented. Sometimes you'll see the pie chart written with percentages rather than angles. And again, that leads on to different types of questions. So just be careful when you're working with your pie charts, make sure you're using the right information and, in the right, and using it in the right way. Okay. Um, hopefully you found that quite useful. For all the maths videos and resources, please visit www.highschoolmaths.co.uk. If you did like the video, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe. And please remember and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Have a math and magical day.